Managing cash is one of the most critical functions in any enterprise. That will provide a couple of tools for the same. Cash forecasting and cash position. Cash forecasting allows to anticipate or estimate cash inflows and outflows in coming weeks or months. Whereas cash positioning allows the actual cash balances and cash inflows or outflows as of a day or as of now. Cash positioning allows to monitor cash balances in real time as the cash flows. Here the word cash includes cash and bank balances. Cash position can be computed for a cash pool or for a cash or bank account. A cash pool is a pool of bank accounts. Simply put, it is a list of bank accounts that will be considered for computing consolidated cash position. Remember, cash position is a hybrid report sourcing data from bank statements, receipts and payments from AR and AP. Opening balance is taken from last available bank statement from cash management, whereas the receipts and payments are taken from AR and AP. The setups. Set up the profile options. Navigate to System Administrator. Set up profile options. Make sure that CE Bank Account Transfers profile option is set to Cash Management. If it is Treasury, you have to change it to Cash Management and re-login Oracle Applications. Cash pool. Navigate to cash management. Cash pools. And create a notional cash pool and click on go. A cash pool name. And select a concentration account. You can add multiple sub bank accounts in this cash pool. It is not mandatory to add sub accounts. You can create a cash pool with just one bank account. Finish the definition of a cash pool. Create a cash position worksheet. Click on Create Worksheet. Give a name to the worksheet. Use this option Use Calculated Prior Day Cash Flow as Yes. Prior Day Cash Flow refers to the gap between the last statement available and the date on which you are computing the cash position. To select bank accounts, uncheck the include first and then select the cash pool. Choose include for the cash pool. Select the name of the cash pool that you have defined. setting up cash inflows and outflows scroll down go to customer receipts and set manual
when you don't give any reset method all the reset methods will be factored set yes for clear transactions uncheck the open interface inflows and outflows unless you want it to set up cash outflows navigate to supplier payments and set it manually set clear transactions to yes uncheck open interface outflows uncheck the user defined outflows and click on apply click on search worksheets and see that your worksheet is created we have created a cash position worksheet and we have set up the inflow and outflow options within the worksheet the transaction flow enter bank statements navigate to bank statements bank statements and reconciliation let us enter a bank statement for the account that we have included in the cash pool we are entering the bank statement for 10 december 15 and we will be calculating the cash position for 17th december 15 the opening balance will be taken automatically from the last entered bank statement enter the receipts and payment for the current day that is for 10th december we are entering bank statement for 10th december save the bank statement the opening balance will be fetched from the control totals of the bank statement so it is not necessary to enter the lines for the purpose of cash position enter receipts and payments in ar and ap navigate to receivables and enter a test receipt choose a receipt method that takes the receipts into the bank account that we have included in the cash pool take the receipt date as the date for which you want to generate the cash position enter the receipt amount and save the receipt enter payment from payables enter the payment for the date for which you want to create the cash position
still in the bank account and a payment process profile enter the payment amount and save the payment the prior day cash flow if you want to generate the cash position for 17th december the opening balance will be taken from the last available bank statement that is if you have entered a bank statement for 10th december and not beyond 10th december opening balance will be taken from the 10th december bank statement to fill the gap between 10 and 17 oracle will consider the receipts and payments between those dates as prior day cash flow to compensate for not having the bank statement for 16th december which would ideally be taken as the opening balance for 17th to calculate prior day cash flow you have to run a request navigate to cash management and run request cash position prior day cash flow give the worksheet name that you have created demo cash position and give the date for which you want to create the position To generate the cash position, click on generate cash position in front of the worksheet that you have created. Give a date for which you want to calculate the cash position. Choose view by bank account and choose a currency. Click on apply. And scroll down. We will see the opening balance taken from the bank statement. Prior day cash flows are zero because there are no receipts and payments between 10th and 17th of December. Customer receipts indicate the receipts that we entered for 17th December. summary to summarize the objective of cash positioning is to view actual cash balances and inflows for a day in order to manage the cash the prerequisites are setting up the profile options setting up a cash pool and setting up a cash position worksheet cash forecasting allows to anticipate or estimate the cash inflows outflows in coming weeks or months whereas cash positioning allows the actual cash balances and cash inflows outflows as of a day or as of now cash positioning allows to monitor cash balances in real time as the cash flows the cash position is as of a day or as of now to know more about the books on r12 and fusion and to see more educational videos, visit facebook.com slash RTL Financials Bookset. Thank you.